Um, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. MC. Um, Your Excellency, the Governor of the Gao State, members of uh, Executive Council, the Royal Advisors here present, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. Use the time, I, I might not have time to start calling names one after the other. So I think we, we need to move forward. Uh, good people of the Gulf State, we are here today to kickstart uh, a program which will help the government. Uh, to get and bring to account the revenue in this state. Uh, without doubt, we are well aware that uh, revenue is the only source of government they use uh, to fund uh, projects and other responsibilities uh, programs like this will definitely, without doubt, to uh, see that all the revenues that are being collected here in the state are being remitted to the state account. Uh, Because projects cannot be completed to do this. Uh, I want to use this opportunity to thank uh, the organizers of this program for bringing the technologies like this that can checkmate every cobble from the revenue board, revenue collectors even the people that pay the revenues. It is also important to note that those that pay this revenue have the right to know where is this money going to, how is the money being used, and the rest. Uh, many thanks to engineer Manir, uh, Manir Ahmed for this uh, wonderful idea which he brought. Uh, I think he, he, he deserves more applause than this. Uh, having said that, uh, what brought us here today, I would also want to call on Nigerians to operate with securities in the country to provide the best security in Nigeria. So many times people say, why can't I visit places where attacks are being made? Uh, and then I think what this area needs more is immediate attention and help of the government. Uh, not really my presence. And uh, the attention, the help of the government, is the first thing we do. Immediately news like that get us, that is what we do. We send out troops to go and take, uh, take control of these places. Uh, when normalcy is being returned, then I can visit. Uh, those people affected do not really need my presence there. What they need are people that will help them. When I go there, am I going to carry gun? Or am I going to start surveillance? So as a matter of fact, uh, Nigerians should understand my silence is not weakness. 
I've been through this many times. Uh, first a minister, then a governor, then a head of state, and then work here again. So I have seen this uh, thoroughly. It's just unfortunate that people now use the lives of innocent Nigerians to play politics, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, I want Nigerians to know one day we all will not be here. Whatever politics you are playing, you are, you are not here to become a guard or security forever. One day they will look for you and you are nowhere to be found. Uh, but for those who think maybe they are here forever, I think you are watching a movie. And it's, it's time to face the reality. Uh, so, Your Excellency, uh, I, I believe you are fully represented. Uh, I want to use this opportunity to say that uh, I appreciate your efforts, the work you are doing for the people of the Gulf States. Uh, you are doing quite a wonderful job. I think it deserves an applause. Uh, I also want to call the people of the Gulf State. They should try as much as possible to support the government of the Gulf State, especially His Excellency. To see that uh, the good will which he has for the people of the Gulf State are being carried out. So please don't stop, continue, as the good people of the Gulf State will definitely give you the support. Uh, thank you very much for your listening here and for your time. Uh, it's, it's much appreciated. Thank you very much. God bless the Republic of Nigeria.